Hello! Hi! You notice things are a little bit different, hmm? Yes, yes, we have some more differences coming up as well. Count you in. Just kidding, I don't know how to count. Maybe I do. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I sure as I can find out soon. Sometimes things don't go the way that I think I want them to. That's okay, I won't give up. Just gotta find a new path, cause I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I sure as I can find out soon. We had, you know, we had this one. And it's fine, it's cool, it's it's a starter or whatever but i spent way too much time having fun because i want to when i'm editing stuff i want to look at something that's fun we got a new one yeah chat's a little bigger a little more chat got the uh the the keyboard <laughs> moved over and then we have this thing yeah sure i do some stuff on the whiteboard but i don't think that that is <laughs> you can't see that like, what does any of this say? I don't know what metric we're going to use. I might do a little poll or something. And put the goal up there, and where the doodle is, is where our little camera will be. I think there's much more space. You like it? Okay. It's nice? Cool. Um, If you have any suggestions for what the metric should be, let me know. Oh, the other big thing is, like, we've been, we keep tackling, like, I feel like, let me just say words out of order, and then you make up the sentence that they should be like a little puzzle. The point is, I feel like the green has not moved in a while, but this yellow section has been expanding. Like I've been touching shots, but not completing them. And it doesn't feel good. And just feels like everything's open. And my brain is holding all of the things. And I don't like that. So I wanted to try and finish the ones that we have touched already. I know that you're supposed to like, whatever, like go through everything stage by stage blah 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 blah. but honestly that does not work for me each step is just way too big we did break ice on this which is good and it also gave me a thought because it has been pointed out by a couple of people like this part not making as much sense and i i need to step it up visually to make sure that it does uh, uh i did this with a mouse no cintiq just scribbling whole section is supposed to be the past section that we're doing the um, the texture brushes and frame paint over whatever things for is supposed to be like the past and the past stuff and the relationship with Samson has helped her to be able to help Tallulah now. It also serves a point in the more overall story about how Geraldine views Samson, whereas he is really resentful that she's left. She's like, that's my friend and I'm taking everything, you know, with me. Oh, yay. Whatever. She's not communicating very well. So in the past, they hoisted up a cog using the pulley system. In the present, Geraldine uses the pulley system, same kind of pulley system, to right side up Halula. Basically, what I want to do is take the painting that we do over in the last section to here right now. And I also did this in the past, so we don't have to use it. It's just like, this is where Geraldine comes from. If Geraldine is on this side, like, why is the vines falling from this side? That doesn't make any sense. They would be coming from over here. Okay, so that's the first thing that we need to fix. So the vines fall off. There is mud splats. I think that might be the thing that we work on today. And I am more familiar with like water droplets and smoke effects than I am with the vine thing. And we might be able to combine the vine thing with some after effects stuff. And then we have the mud flaps. I think that's going to be, that's going to be after effects animation. Once we do the after effects animation, ooh, branding. It's a lot to have a lot of projects. But it is nice to be able to bounce between them when you're feeling this one or that one. I'm wishing you these are all the good vibes for your project, whatever one that you're working on. So I think we're going to do the mud slots. I also want mud to fall off of this, but like I think the shells need to be in After Effects because she needs, Tulula needs the new shell from here on out. So that'll be it and then we will figure out the vines later. 
Also, just visually, like, why is this whole area blank? What the heck? Holy. Holy. Also, like, if you're upside down, how would this help you? You need it to be like this, like the flip. So it needs to be from that way. We're gonna work on the mud. I've done, so I've done water before. Mud has dirt. Dirt has weight, way more weight than water. Okay, this is already this is very helpful. Behind the scenes for the behind the scenes for the behind the scenes. So she goes into the mud. It splatters a little bit and it's not gonna go. It's probably gonna go like. I have three frames for the mud splat. Oh, and extend this so it doesn't keep doing that. Melt. Oh, yeah, and then it melts into the, the rest of the dirt. Oozes. Oozes. Let's make another layer. The first thing you gotta do with the animation is watch it over and over again to absorb where you are. Totally. Not just what I do. Whoa. Whoa, nice. We can also, by doing this, figure out our setup for what we want everything to be for here. I did try to do it, but it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like as right as the editing one, so. And I like the way that the editing one is split into like playback buttons and like do things on the timeline buttons. That's very helpful. I'm also gonna set a timer for us to look outside. <laughs> Just look around. Here we go. I kind of like this. No, we're gonna we're gonna ignore everything and make our own. It's kind of hard to see. This is where they've sunk in into the mud here. This one sinks in first. Oh, what should be the arc? Sort of like this, like for a water droplet. Mm -hmm. Maybe more like this. Let's make some arcs. Boop 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 plus. If I do use this keyboard thing will be totally inaccurate. Oh, I don't know. We're just laying something down so we can change it later. Can't use that. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, it looks like a butterfly that's leaving me space. There we go. I'm not worried about the timing. If you flip back and forth, it's supposed to be better. I want to do some arcs, some little buttholes, but yeah, there we go. This one is my favorite one. Yeah, this one is my favorite one so far. Do we need delete? We need alt B. We need control. Those are the three most important ones. Seems like it has more volume. Control also this one. Control shift. And tweak, yeah. It'll quench ya. I might have to redo the other ones, but this one in the front, that's fun. Nobody's ever gonna see that detail, but it's fun. This one loses too much mass. I'm gonna redo this one. Looks better. That feels kind of melty, right? Wah, 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 wah. We can highlight this and then go to exposure and set them all to i don't know what did we do it for us just kidding right now it's like super fast so we definitely need to slow it down let's put the on twos and see how it feels because i know we have a lot at the end of just like ooze. uh exposure set exposure to four yeah more like that honestly it might be a little fast here too maybe what if we went Two twos, three threes, and then four fours. Does that work though? Uh, I think that works, at least for this one. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging that. Get it dig, digging dirt. Will all the mud splats need to be on different timings? I just had a thought. It goes by really, really quick. What if we just rendered this mud splat, did it on all the feet, but did them at different timings and stuff? Honestly, Timeline, I think that would be great. Screw all you other. 
the ones minus minus we don't need you but you do need to be in the right spot get rid of all of you it's gonna go by so quick like if we zoom out it's really tiny compared to everything else that's happening and the vines are falling and all this stuff and we got other mud splats and things so color palette no what am i doing <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and then I think we should just be able to do I for most of it. Holding B, do a little this. Yes, I know. I said don't show the message again. And it always shows me a message. We just need one little line. We can do I hello. Press K to see what is up. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look how close those are. Buddy, I was about to say, if it were up to me, and then I was like, it is up to you. You are the one determining all this. If it were up to me, I would just focus on the details. That's the best part. I hate doing all of the, not the details. But I don't. I don't hate it. Oh, you can see. Yep, we missed one. There you go. That's pretty good. I, I'm satisfied with that. File, export images cool i can't see anything so that should be good right i'm actually really happy with that I was not caught the cloud okay look away from the screens look as far away as you can make sure your eye strain doesn't get worse and then i can pretend that i'm holding this control i import hold Mud, candy sequence, import for sure, control alt G, I think. Make sure that's in 24, and then we can just drag this in. Yeah, cool. Now I'm gonna add a fill. <laughs> oh, it looks like blood now. Duplicate, there you go. Wedge that in there. Here, shift the timing. Oh, I shouldn't have stretched it up. I should stretch it back. Let's do that again. Because then they're all just going at the same time. Yeah, now they're melting at different points. Time, please, on last frame. And then go to T for opacity, and we're just going to fade that one out. And then we're going to add like a T on the end of all of these. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to say fill. No, I'm going to say color. I want it to be a little bit visible. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's so dark. Should we go uh, lighter? Ooh, lighter and then darker and then opacity out. I'm going to parent everything, all the colors to here. So we only have to work with one. Maybe we start out light. I love in After Effects when you key the colors because then you get this little gradient and you can tell how it changes. I just, I really like that visual cue. Muddy, muddy. All right, we did it. <laughs> I did not expect that, but awesome. We got the mud in there and it feels pretty good. They feel, I don't know, they need to feel different enough. They kind of go with the terrain and it does what I want it to do. So now you know, cause it's my super short show. All right, that was, that was great. See, when you tackle the things that you already have open, you can finish them instead of not. Oh, that's my lesson for me. I hope you have a, an absolutely wonderful day. We'll be doing some more stuff tomorrow. So, bye-bye. End.